Alright, hi guys, and welcome back to another video on Plan Swift. Alright, so for today, we're going to do, be doing a little uh, advanced uh, features on the basic measurement functions. Right, the measurement functions can be found at the top here. You have area, linear, segment, and count. So we'll be talking about linear and segment with regards to, uh, let's say, measuring of walls. Right, so something that you will probably be doing from time to time is when you start off a linear, you can name uh, the name of the wall type. So let's say, for example, I can pick 200mm thick wall, for example. And when you start off, uh, you would typically go just one point, finish, escape, and then you have an overall amount here. Right, so that is your basic uh, method of measurement. Right, something that you can do is to actually add in certain uh, templates uh, to this measurement. Alright, so if you go over to templates here, right, so I'm just going to create a new folder. So let's say, for example, wall templates. Right, so within it, I'm going to add in a new linear item. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say this is a wall item. Right, so from here, I'm going to select, I'm going to fix the color, right? So you notice most of the time when you measure using the default measurements, it will always be a random color. Right, so in this case, I'm going to forcefully select a color. So from here, I'm going to turn on a few different settings. All these are by default given to you in Plan Swift. It's just a matter of whether you use them or not. So from here, I'm going to select uh, some things that I need. So for example, I will need the wall height. So I'll take this box over here. And I'll need the width as well. So I'll pick. So I select these two. So once I select these two, if you go to the form, you will see that they both will have appeared in the form. Now let's add something else. I'm going to go to the form layout here. Right, you can see wall height and width. You can actually select uh, the arrangement whether you would like it higher or lower. So in this case, width, I like it higher. So I just push it up. So you can see width and wall height are together now. Right, so I will say that wall height and width, I will turn on the show units because I need to know what units because sometimes I may accidentally key in as mm. Right, so for us over here in Asia, we use it in meters, so I will set it as meters. So once I click OK, just double check the form, this is my form item. Right, so once that is done, I save the changes and I go back. Right, so from here, I can actually access my items from a drop down list. So from the drop down list itself, I can actually find the uh, item which I'm looking for. So let's say, for example, if I go over the templates, it is under the 2012 takeoff template. So I go back, select the drop down menu, right? So once I find my item, select, and then I'll be able to find my item here, wall item, right? So you can click on the green item to start off. So from here, I can say that, hey, the wall height needs to be maybe 2.2. Uh, the width for this uh, is probably a 0 0.2, right? So I can set 0 or 0 0.1 actually. I can set 0 0.1, and then let's say if I start off the measurement. So once I start, you notice it will. There will be a thickness to the line, right? So let's let's do it again. So let's say I start here, right? Wall height 2.2, width I can set to 0 0.2. Right, let's zoom in. So when I start the measurement, you notice that now it is not a single straight line anymore. Right? It's still a straight line, but there is thickness to the item itself. So I can continue my measurement. So let's say if I need to measure this part of the item, I can continue, click on this, measure off from here. Right? So if I need a different thickness, I can always select a new item. Right? So let's say, for example, this is my wall which is probably 100 mm thick. Right, the width, I'll put 0.1. Wall height, probably, if it's different, you can check your elevation. So from here, I can select the item. Right, just redo this. So wall item, 100 mm thick. Wall height, 1.8. Width, 0 0.1. So from here, I can click. Right, so I will have my item here all the way down. Double click to finish. If I need to continue the measurement, I just go over, double click. Right, so with this, uh, you have created your own basic template, which you can do the same for anything else. Right, whether you are measuring walls or you are measuring different kinds of lengths, you can create 
uh, this standard uh, template and customize it to the item that you need to. Right, the plus points of having this created uh, is obviously the color setting because once you set the color, you can actually have a very clear view of what has been measured, what has been not, and also you are making use of the additional uh, formula features within PlanSwift. We have not gotten yet uh, to adding your own uh, your own settings, your own numbers, but these are just making use of what PlanSwift has in you uh, in the software itself. Right, so I hope these two uh, additions uh, to the features have helped you out. Right, any questions, please do let me know. Thank you.